Good morning, welcome to the Words of Hope. I'm Art Velasquez, your host, and today we will talk about overwhelmed by gratitude. In the scripture it says, You shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, for he passed over the houses of Israel in Egypt uh, when he struck the Egyptian, but spared our houses. And the people bowed their heads low and worshiped the Lord. Exodus chapter 12 verse 27. Have you ever been overwhelmed with gratitude because God moved in your behalf? Has something so noteworthy ever happened that uh, you stop in your tracks to worship the creator of the universe out of a grateful heart? In Exodus chapter 12, the children of Israel are overwhelmed by God's goodness, and in response, they bow their heads in worship. God had just delivered them from the Egyptians who had enslaved them for over 400 years. And as they reflected on their journey that led to this moment, their hearts are overflowed in worship because now they were finally free to express their love and appreciation to the God who had guided them to freedom. Today, God guides us too. If we stop and reflect on the various seasons of life, we can't help but notice that God's fingerprint is in our lives, leading, protecting, disciplining, and be inspired to the sacrifice our selfish desires in order to worship Him. Worship is an outward expression of an inner disposition. When we recognize the many ways that God has been gracious to us, our hearts spill over into worship. Each of us has a story of deliverance and each of us has an opportunity each day to offer God a grateful sacrifices. So in everything that God is doing in your lives, you have to be grateful and you have to be overwhelmed with gratitude because since we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, since the time that we were born, God is um, uh, God is uh, always blessing us so much that even when we do not know it, as uh, one song says, even we do not see it, even we do not feel it, even we do not know it, God is working in our behalf. So be grateful because God, our Lord Jesus Christ, is always with us. So there you have it. God bless you. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom.